All right, once you finish putting in your credit card information, it takes you through the steps to get started. So the first thing we want to do is put in our legal business name. So this should be the name, so legal business, right? Not your DBAs, um, anything like that. It should be what is going to be showing up on tax returns as an example. Um, if you are moving from QuickBooks Desktop and you're bringing data into your QBO file, then you would check this and it would convert the data over for you. Um, it, would, it would show you how to go in to your desktop file and export data to QBO. And then you wouldn't have to do as much setup because, of course, they're just taking the information from QuickBooks Desktop into online. So I'm going to say next here, next step is what is your industry. So you can type in your industry. So I'm going to say manufacturing because that's my favorite. Right. Um, once I type in manufacturing, uh, right, ice manufacturing, lime manufacturing, very random, uh, spring manufacturing, very random things in here. Um, but I'm just going to say I can't find it. What this is going to do is just um, it, when you're doing kind of benchmarking, uh, they'll pull some of these things up um, and compare you to other firms if you want to, other businesses if you want to. Right, You get the option to do benchmark reporting. Okay, what kind of business is this? So this is how are you organized? Uh, sole proprietor, partnership, nonprofit, S Corp. Again, why this matters in the setup is uh, mainly if you're going to connect into the taxes space um, and for which type of forms right need to be filled out. Um, and then in the chart of accounts area too, there'll be some different options uh, when you set up your chart of accounts. Just in, but it all has to do with where does this account flow to on your tax forms. So that's why this matters, okay? So I'm going to pick S Corp there. Uh, what's your main role here at uh, QBO Advanced Four Lane, right, with the company? So are you owner, partner, employee, bookkeeper, accountant, or other? And this is going to be, um, you know, different questions when you're getting set up here. So most of the time it should be bookkeeper, accountant, or partner, owner. I recommend just doing partner, owner all the time when you're doing a new setup. Uh, next, it says, who else works? At this firm, do you have employees? Do you have contractors? This is just going to open up um, things in your QBO file. Um, so, like, if you select that you do work with contractors, um, you know, I plan to hire in the future. I do have employees. It's just going to add and enable certain things for you ahead of time. You can always go in and add or enable them in the future. So it's not like a choose it now and you can or forever. You don't have contractors, right? So. Um, I'm just going to leave employees check there. What apps do you already use? So this is going to be, you know, which apps do we want to connect to? This is if you already have an existing account with one of these apps. Um, if you do not have an existing account with any apps, you can skip. You can always do this step at a future point too. I absolutely would not recommend trying to connect apps until we get everything set up appropriately, right, um, in the file. So usually skipping. Um, so what do you want to do first? We can get set to get paid first or track expenses and receipts first, right? So um, it basically is going to take you just what is the next step in our get started. Um, so I always just choose the uh, get paid because that's the fun part. <laughs> Let's get paid faster. So um, we're going to make it easier for customers to pay you. So uh, inside of in QuickBooks here, uh, in QuickBooks Online Advanced, you can do some template modifications. So again, you have the option to go through the setup now and, and do some of those modifications, um, or you can skip this step. What they're trying to do here is they're trying to get you to sign up for a merchant service account, most likely. Um, and so signing up in product is great. It's easy, but you definitely want to work with somebody um, to make sure that you're getting your best rates and things like that. So I usually just say skip here. Um, if you push next, right, it's going to take you to how to personalize the invoice, and that's quite a bit to do when we're, when we're just trying to get started. So let's just go ahead and say skip. We have other videos on doing that. Now here again, right, see your payments anywhere. Um, get the mobile app so you can go in and scan this QR code to pull the app onto your phone if you want to. It's a great little tip there. We can say skip, and then it's going to go ahead and get us started. Let's go. I love all the words here. So now my QuickBooks Online Advanced Company file is set up. Um, again, they, the guide is meant to be there to help you. Uh, if you once you get in product, the thing that you want to do is go through those settings, right? Go through your settings, and that's 
that's really you're going to have to go through them anyway, whether or not you go you you know do your invoice template setup uh, and design ahead of time. You're still going to have to go into settings and organize the rest of your file. So I just say get through it, get into your product, and then let's start looking at some of our other videos, which are going to be about settings and how to use the product.